who is the one that is really in control here, right? Are you really the guide? Are you really the one that is creating everything in your life? Or are you tapping into this mystical, magical energy that is beyond human form and comprehension? I want you to think about everything positive in your life. Right? If you have children, think about your kids. If you have a, a soulmate or a significant other, think about that person. Think about the last experience, the last travel, the last anything joyful or spontaneous thing in your life. Did you actually create that? Did you actually tangibly do that? Or did you say yes to the opportunity to allow that experience into your life? You are actually not doing anything. You, the lower self, you, the ego, are not doing anything but just kind of dancing and going along to with whatever your higher self may or may not present to you. You see? Now, most people have resistance to that upgrade. They have resistance to what the higher self is presenting them. Therefore, the struggle happens. Therefore, suffering happens. And it doesn't have to be that way. All you have to do is go through with whatever your heart and your higher self is telling you, no matter how complex, no matter how your ego and your mind wants to toss it back into that survival mode and keep you out of anything that is change, you see, because that's what this is. The ego only wants to keep you in survival mode. No judgment from me. I'm going to love you whether you want to stay in survival mode or whether you actually want to manifest your heart's greatest desire. I'm going to love you either way. Now, you have to understand that nobody can do this for you. Nobody can love the way you can. Nobody can create that the way you can. Nobody can do anything at the way you can to your own unique ability. So the sooner you start understanding this, the sooner you start manifesting all of this instead of getting subject to the old self and getting subject to what everything used to be, that's when magic starts happening. That's when this light goes off inside your mind's eye and you're like, wow, I did create this. No matter how traumatic that experience was or whatever happened in your past, you created it, you see, and you created it so you can wake up. That's it. So now that you've awakened, right, now that you have clarity, now that you know exactly the rules to the game, you can't get away with those old things that you used to get away with. <laughs> whether it's the food groups, whether it's the relationships that weren't serving you, the job that wasn't serving you, right? That was serving the survival mode. That was serving the ego and the what you needed to do to survive and to get into this 3D game. I get it. However, you are here to do so much more. You can do so much more. If you allow yourself the opportunity, you can say yes to the next opportunity that your higher self presents you instead of saying no and getting stuck in survival mode over and over again. You can actually project yourself into a completely new reality. And that doesn't take any effort. It doesn't take any labor. In fact, it's quite the opposite. You don't need to dig any trenches here. You need to simply go through the labor of your ego and the labor of your lower self that is preventing you from actually achieving your heart's greatest desire. You see, because the people that have it and you see them and you want it and now you're jealous, that's only because your higher self is pointing you in the right direction and you're still hesitant. You're still afraid to walk through the door. And again, no judgment for me. I want you to know that it all comes back down to free will. If you won't do it, nobody will do it for you, right? It's like that good old saying about the horse. You can only lead the horse to water, right? But you can't make him drink, you see? I have endless supply of water for all of you. However, you got to come on down and enjoy the water yourself. You got to taste it. You got to experience it. You want to swim in it. Let's go skinny dipping, whatever you want to do. Let's do it, baby. Because at the end of the day, nobody is going to do this work for you. Nobody's going to pull those skeletons out of your closet for you. Nobody's going to make you drink the green smoothie and upgrade your body and start detoxing for you. Do you see? We need to stop being so reliant on some invisible God that's going to come down from the heavens or reliant on our you know, coworkers or our partners or our children or whatever it is that's making us dependent on that survival mode. They're not your excuse anymore. You don't have to keep abiding by that ego and personality that was not you because you need to start embracing the real infinite you this new cosmic version of you which is already here why because you were born with that abundance 
You were born with that level of consciousness, right? Somewhere along the way, you just said yes to a different opportunity that led you down this path that you're now unhappy with. And that's okay too. Because all roads lead to the same place. <laughs> and that is the oneness. That is the nirvana, right? Self actualization, self realization, whatever you want to call this, right? Those roads are all going to merge eventually. And we will commune there in this beautiful utopia once and for all. Have no doubt about it. But let's not get focused on the destination. Let's remember that the magic is all about the journey. How did you get there? What did you do? What are the trials? What are the tribulations? What are the relationships? What is the energy that you had to transmute and to actually achieve what you're achieving right now? No matter how quote unquote good or bad <laughs> it may feel or look like, because remember, that's just 3D and you are multidimensional. You are here to go way beyond 3D. You see that survival mechanism and the ego that was created, that was serving the old earth, the old way of life. Now we have to jump into new earth and jump into this more cosmic show. You see this radiance, this glowing energy that is the consciousness that is you has to play the game at a higher frequency now. It's just that simple. So again, your old relationships probably aren't going to serve you anymore. Your old foods, right, that you used to eat probably aren't going to serve you anymore because you were high vibe, right? You're vibrating at this new level. So you're not going to get away with those old things, right? Or you can practice insanity, <laughs> which is doing the same thing and expecting different results, you see? And I know you're not insane. I know there's more to this than what meets the eye. That's why you have to start digging real deep here. That's why you have to start assessing this from the energy because that's what you are. You are energy. You are not just this meat suit. You're not just this body. You're not some cosmic thing. No, you are all of it, right? Your meat suit is just the form that's encapsulating the light, right? So let's embrace all of these things. You don't have to get all new age on me. It's not the ego is bad. No, you need to be you. This body is Robert. I need to be Robert to transmit this energy to you. Without Robert, without this healthy, sexy, awesome vessel, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do it. Now, understand that all of this is an equal part of the play, right? It's not like one thing is better than the rest or there's an up and down or tug and pull. Remember, that's 3D. That's gonna keep you in that constant motion all the time and keep you suffering. It's time to go beyond that survival mode. It's time to go beyond that mechanism that you've created and tap into the most infinite version of yourself. All right, guys, until next time, infinite love, infinite peace. I'm out.